Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Code in Easy Way. Today we are going to discuss about the PTR operator. So I am going to explain it to you with the example. Why we use the PTR operator and what is the function of the PTR operator? If you want to copy a data of 16 bits into 32 bit. If you go directly without using the PTR operator, it will show you the mismatch of operand length or instruction error. To overcome this, you have to use the PTR operator. First of all, we will save this. This is our data section. If you want to copy this data into the uh, AB data into the uh, two bits location, what happened? Let's start. Let's move. V1. So I'm copying the starting 11 each into the here and now move don't forget to use the exit instruction here Here you can see there's an error invalid instruction operands. So how will we overcome it? Let's go. Now copy it. Ax. In Ax, I'm copying. Uh, as I told you, that uh, I'm going to follow the Little Indian, um, Little India method. So, and uh, I'm copying this byte, this whole byte into the word in reverse order. Let's take a jump from V1 and uh, I have to copy this byte into the V2, uh, V2 first location. You can also copy uh, 1122H. This is also one word into the uh, first location of the V2. Here we go. X and uh, I have to jump of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 bytes to attain control at this location so here we v1 plus 6 now we have 88 and 77 as it follow the little indian the you can see the previous video i will give you the link below so next So now I have to uh, attain the control on this location. So I, uh, let's do the jump again. M plus six, one, two, three, and four. One plus four. move because it is of 16 bit at its first location i have 88 and 77 now i want to copy 66 and 55 in reverse order at second location so uh, move value of ax on v2 plus 2 uh, I, I am adding two bytes in it because one uh, at the first location it is of 16 bits in two bytes and uh, at first two bytes 77 and 88 is present and now I have to add 66, uh, 66 and 55 on the second location AX now we have 88 77 66 and 55 again move ax now 
this data is also copied. I have, uh, I'm going to add this data on the third location of V2. Jump of one, two. I have to do the jump of two. Login more and V2 plus three on its third location. Sorry, fourth location on its third location. Again, I'm adding two more bytes to get control on the third index of V2. I'm using word index to make it easy like we use in uh, C++ and other languages. Uh, what value I'm going to copy out uh, third location, uh, third location. At first, this is second, this and at third, I'm copying, I'm going to copy 33 and 44 AX. Again, no ex v1 plus. No, I don't need to add anything because now I'm going to copy the first index of v1. No ex and v2 plus. I'm going to add 6 in it because. To attain the control on the next location, I have to I have to add again two bytes. Again, x. Done with this. Uh, instead of using loops, I will explain about the loops in later next videos. Uh, we will use some functions to call, uh, to check instead of, instead of using loop, I will use dumb dumb mem function to display our array i'm going to use a dumb m function to display our array v2 so first of all i'm using some functions before dumb m esi is a register and edi also used to copy the uh, addresses so if you want to display your array you have the address of your array so we use offset of e1 ecx is used to copy the length of an array And EPX is used to copy the type of array. We'll call it dumping. Save it. Oh. Okay, this is showing this error because I forgot to use the word PTR. I'm done with this, save the program and run it. Check the output. It is of V1. Okay, let's check V2. Save it. Now you can see our output 8877. Now this 16 bits are at first index 88 and 77. 6555. 6655. So this is all for today.
if you have any question or any query regarding this problem ask in comments i will answer it later thank you for watching allah face